As part of their role monitoring the European Commission's Energy Union proposal, Socialist and Democrat members of the European Parliament have been investigating innovative examples of sustainable energy use. Today, MEP Kathleen van Brent visited a new residential area in Ruzelara in the west of Belgium, where houses are part of a heating district connected together. The very special issue is that there is no gas connection or any other fossil fuels, but the heating uh, and the warm water is all coming from district heating. So it's not only compatible with the energy union, it's the very backbone of the energy union. The idea of an energy union comes from the desire to shape a new energy model for Europe based on a sustainable and less carbon dependent economy. We need to transform our economy and our energy supply into a low carbon and fully energy renewable supply. And if you look like a project like this, what, what do we see? We see energy efficiency. But where does the heat come from? We went to the city's incinerator site to observe the process at its source. A district heating system is actually very simple. Uh, it's uh, just distributing energy in, in the way of hot water. Let's see how it works. This is the incinerator site in Ruzelar. Every day, 185,000 kilograms of waste, mainly household waste, is burnt at a high temperature without the addition of any polluting fuels. The heat generated is turned into superheated water and flows at 110 degrees Celsius through underground pipes. These pipes carry the water to schools, a hospital, a swimming pool, greenhouses and private habitations, which then benefit from a source of heating. But is it really possible to burn waste without pollution or wastage? The answer is yes. During the incineration process, harmful substances present in the smoke are neutralized through different filtering steps. Furthermore, the excess of hot water which is not used for heating in the district is turned into electricity, enough to provide the power required to run the incinerator site as well as a 20 hectare greenhouse for growing vegetables and a biomass drying unit. In the end, this system saves 4 million litres of oil every year. The waste in this plant comes from households. Uh, we burn the waste for approximately 400,000 inhabitants. Um, so it's really the, the, the bag you put on the street that uh, gets converted to heat for uh, heating up their own houses. The system also guarantees consumers energy bills that are 5% cheaper than if they used gas installations. An important point that shows how it can combine the comfort of a sustainable home with affordability. We're here in one of the houses uh, that has been heated with the uh, district um, heating. So uh, it's one of the examples of how the technology of the district heating can actually um, be uh, used in uh, private houses where we're going to connect a uh, thousand houses uh, in a couple of years. Uh, we're going to um, expand the uh, central heating system all over the city uh, so we can uh, actually uh, very easily connect other houses, other great projects. An expansion which reflects the great potential of this project and offers lots of inspiration for European energy challenges. Let's be proud of our energy. Energy shouldn't be something that is dirty and that's polluting. Let's be proud and let's make sure that everybody is connected to that.